I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone, but Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have to talk to me every now and then, too. I'm not, like, uh, unapproachable or anything, am I? Uh, no, it's just that I don't get the option to. I'm still just not getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting the pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. I can't stop screaming. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I just, just like, completely unrelated. I just can't stop screaming. <laughs> I saw yeah. the face of God and it was screaming. It was, no, don't worry. It's like, <laughs> it's just, like, like he, he make a rave a burrito so hot that not even eating it. I saw the face of God and it was screaming. I get what you're saying. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Well, all right. what you mean. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way you talk. This one like turned out. you call him a big prop. <laughs> Boo like the way you call him Big Papa! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's so fucking great. This is fucking Majin Boo, like... Yeah, yeah I was playing acting, like, fighters with Bulbasaur. They're <laughs> <laughs> like, Boo is definitely the... Majin Boogie Smalls. Of the, of the Biggie Smalls of the DBZ of the world. Do you think Boo's sexy? Save me. That's, Save me. That's not good. I'm this a is not a poem. This, this is, is a cry for help. So, oh, this is a cry for help. Help me. Oh, I'm trapped. The colors they won't they won't stop. Bright beautiful colors flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. Whoa. Uh, the noise that won't stop. Violent grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. 3.1414. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaninglessness. Load me? Load me? What? Is that what that say? Load me? Oh, say. Oh, this is, a, this is a gameplay clue. Oh. Save me. The colors that won't. Oh, shit. So save here and then load here? So something's gonna happen after this point, and they're just like trying to give you a, a hint. You just save the game real quick. And uh You got it. Make it make two saves though. Good call. Now load your first save. Do it. Hmm. Even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. That's interesting. I wonder what that's about. Oh, I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just the kind of thing i never really seen before, I guess. It's kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Mm. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. Yeah, that's true. It's almost it's like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes me feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. Hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. <laughs> oh my god. You never know when Decoy Octopus will have been yeah. the, the DARPA chief from the beginning and that you'll have to... He's the DARPA chief? Ah, oh, shit. You oh, never fuck. know if you'll be able to survive the torture or not. Yeah. You Come never know when you might change game. your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today. So everyone can come sit at the front of the room. These are a bunch of my grandpa's pharmaceuticals. Please take them. <laughs> they got me locked up in here! Got me locked up in here! Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to put a brick up in your face? Uh, what you gonna do? <laughs> 
something for the festival. It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's one that's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. Ha ha ha. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We, we won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters that have designs and pamphlets we could get out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Oh, sorry, I thought I heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? P uh, Monica, yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each one of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. And then we prom will be the next day. <laughs> <laughs> it's putting it all on posters in case anyone wants to pray ahead of time. <laughs> uh, she's been coloring a poster. Hold it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you didn't already start putting these posters up, did you? Well, I did. Do you think that's a bad idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a large group of people like that. I agree. I could never in my life do something like that. Well, sorry, bitch. This is for the extroverts. <laughs> this one's for all my extroverts out there. Love you, love. <laughs> Talking to people. <laughs> do you like crowds? Would you prefer to be in a social setting than a <laughs> private setting? You are a Monica. <laughs> you are such a Monica. Or Rachel or whatever. <laughs> one was the extrovert. I think like, I think like, I thought it was Julie. Julie? You mean Joey? No, Julie. Julie? Okay. Not Joey. Alright. Joey was the one who had a bunch of horses. Julie is the one who was a jewel thief. Oh yeah. You're yeah, the friend of jewel thief. In what? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's friends. Yeah. I'll be talking about friends, dude. Making uh, oh. blue. I guess I, I guess I too. more than just didn't see it. <laughs> he shakes her head at her. Here, guys, no sailor. I understand where they're coming from. Remember, Nasugi and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until a couple days ago. It's a lot for them to recite their poems aloud for the whole room of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm Suri. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start an yeah, event and put each uh, put on a good performance, and it will inspire others to do the same. And the people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what the literature is all about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, yeah. finding the new horizons, and having yeah. fun. That's yeah. right. And it's those reasons we're all in this club today. Don't want to share with a, don't don't you want to share with others to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? No, you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of people of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, and I know you can do it. They remain silent. And Sarah looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> <laughs> One of you will live I won't this poetry hesitate, slam. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Siori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but it looks like Mitsugi doesn't have any arguments left. That's right. Ooh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll have to get it over with. All right. I feel like we're the Ginyu Force, like a secret Ginyu Force. Yeah, Ginyu you're gonna Force. like, you're gonna be like putting demons in with all the, the other <laughs> students' bodies. Like, with all the, like, like I'm Raccoon. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, right? Like, it look... Sorry. Uh, fucking... They look like a fucking, like... Here's a fucking cutesy girl version of the Ginyu Force, and you got Captain Ginyu on the right. Yeah. No, yeah, I, like, I think Captain Ginyu's this one. Yeah. This one's Birder and Jace. Yeah, I suppose that would make sense. And then Goldo. <laughs> Just you. I feel like yeah. We, I mean, we might be gold though, because like she's she seems kind of like raccoonish. She's got like red hair. Yeah. So yeah. That's it's like kind of dumb. Physically, yes. I don't know. Like, They're not fleshed out enough in personality. To, like, 
Yeah, like these cool. these characters have personalities where Ganyu Force are just like, We're strong, you're yeah. gonna lose to us. I mean, <laughs> I mean like you got like the tall one, you got like one that's like kind of a like a, a cool color and it's tall and like the yeah. short one. And then you got like the, the dumb one with red hair, so like, yeah. And then yeah. you got then you got us. Yeah. Who can stop time by saving and loading files. Oh yeah. Oh, I guess we are Goldo. So, yeah, we're Goldo. What about you here? He's like, ah, shit. I guess I don't have a choice. That's everyone. You're the best here. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway. What does Yuri get out of this club? Because, like, she doesn't like the writing styles of any of us. Maybe she just wants to feel superior, or maybe like there was a club that was like better, or some place, maybe, maybe there just isn't a place for her to like do this stuff at all. I think she yeah. just joined this club because she's like, I like books, she's it's the, not yeah, people. It's probably the I'll only place. the literature club. Yeah. It's the only place for her to join a club that was like close to her like interests at all. It just yeah. happens that like everyone, all the writing styles here are not really her cup of tea. That can happen. each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no, don't worry. We'll start off everyone when I feel a little more comfortable. I go next, of course. Let's see. And she says the fun, the way they fly. <laughs> When she was reciting the poem, a clear, confident voice fills the room more than that. Her infection, inflection is pristine. <laughs> my infection is pristine. Her <laughs> infection is pristine. My, my disease is <laughs> de de uh, delicate. Um, <laughs> she knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this Bye. something she's done before? Or simply unnatural? I glance around me, everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recit rec recitation. Recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and laughs. That's so good, Monica. Thanks very much. Just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll go next. Uh, you're fired up. She clenches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up, keeping her head down. She walks quietly over to the podium. The poem is called... She anxiously glances. You can do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. That sounds... The fucking Sharingan. Yeah. The Mangekyo Sharingan. Or the Renen gun, or the with the other two ones, I don't remember the names. The Google the gun. Like the Byaku gun, and like the one that. And the Google, and the Google, I told you it's the Google the gun. No, it's not. It's fucking. It's only the Toad eyes. Um, I don't appreciate you not taking the Naruto doc seriously. You can take that bullshit and pack up and go. Yeah. They got the. They got all the eyes. This guy's got lots of eyes. Yuri's yeah. voice shakes as she starts reading from the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in a structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Okay. Damn. Uh, suddenly she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps into reality. Oh! There goes gravity. Oh, well, glances goes around her. And if she's Bobby. bewildered even herself. I. It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward. We give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her. Oh, you're caught off guard. We must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thanks for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Up yeah. next is a poem by Flava Flav, a student from Class B. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Boy! <laughs> Crimson 
falls from the sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I died nine one one a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> see how they reacted. They only kill men that come when they wanna. <laughs> this one's called my meadow. Oh shit! Get up, get 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 oh, get shit. down. Nine one one is choking your town. Oh damn. Remember when Flavor of Flav like made music? Yeah, I that do. had like a social reason for it to exist. Yeah, <laughs> I remember when Flavor of Flav got kicked in the face on the Air of God Andre show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I remember about Flavor of Flav. <laughs> also, the world record for the longest, 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 yeah, boy, <laughs> yeah, in history. I, I didn't think anyone was vying for that spot. But, yeah. I mean, like now that he has it, I mean, you can just take it. He didn't go for that long. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I giggled. Uh, hello, Guinness. Um, I'm going to say yeah, boy, for about five minutes. <laughs> it's a lot harder than I thought. How'd you guys do it so easily? Uh, oh, yeah, boy, for five it. minutes. It was really hard to do. <laughs> Exciting to other people. Yeah, five minutes would be a long time to yeah, boy. I don't think he did it for that long. I think he did it for, like, like less than a minute. It was, like, it's, like, doable by anybody how long he did it. But, like... <laughs> Yeah, because he's getting old now, and he, yeah. like, smoked. Yeah, so, like, yeah. I mean, like, if we if we just, just train a little bit, just be able to, like, fucking, like, hold in a lot of, like, oxygen and just do yeah, it. Yeah, take care of your respiratory health. And... and then just fucking just do the longest yeah boy in history. Just go go all out, go for five minutes saying yeah boy. <laughs> so, so, practice it. Just, just do it to where it's natural. And then you can do it at the parties, you can, the people will be like, you can't do the longest yeah boy I've ever heard. Oh, here we go. I probably wouldn't think much of it. Yeah. yeah. I, like, would it be like, like, two and a half minutes for like, the first, like, the yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then like, the rest would be the boy. <laughs> yeah. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it. Good job, Sayori. Even like that. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? Came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you real nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite so well with that kind of delivery. Eh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours that are sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Then, <laughs> next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. Damn. You don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay. Okay, who's next? That's me. Oof, I want to go before... That's that. Uh, everyone's standards go down. That's the key. Okay, it's fine. Might as well get it over with. Back. Everyone has their eyes on me before making me feel terribly awkward. I they are scaring phone. me right now. They're all looking like right at us. Yeah. And I am somehow naked in class right now. Help! <laughs> Help! Got <laughs> energy in it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive the applause anyway. It's right. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. Don't worry about it, Danny. Danny. Think of it less about your abilities and more as your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, okay, sure, I'm going. She's like, alright, fine, I gets up there. This poem's called, it's called, Why Are Y'all Looking At Me? Because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway, the poem is called, Jump! <laughs> Mac Daddy make you jump, jump, jump. jump. Crisscross make you jump, jump. Crisscross is making me jump. When she starts for some jump. Her, her attitude disappears a little. While well, she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's not his trademark style, and it works surprisingly well, well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. Uh, she hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Uh, well, you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people. I mean, doing it in front of other people will always be way... In front of other people will be way easier. I 
can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise. No, that's very true. Because, yeah. like, formless, shapeless people you don't know, it's way easier to just perform, like, to get yeah, into that. Yeah, see those yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's not how it is, so. I guess that in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the rest of it. That's it. I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick the poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? If you're making pamphlets, let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. <laughs> It makes me really yeah, happy. It's really like yeah. hard to not see that. Uh, like, no problem. Because she okay, just like says something and then just like whips her like hip over, so she just starts farting violently. <laughs> yeah, I think that's about it for today. And I know the festival's coming up. Let's try to write poems for you tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue. That. As for the festival, we'll be planning, finish planning tomorrow, and we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's a big day. I can't wait. I can do this, I can do this, alright. Stand up, turn. there's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica. I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club. And impressing Monica. Of the club. Not why impressing and I'll Monica. do my... Why is impressing Monica a thing now? Uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe she, maybe just because she's in charge. The maybe it's just as only yeah. that. Look at you two, I'll be going home together like that. It's almost as if you're like a cup. <laughs> <laughs> You're a cup of this fart straight. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't mind if I butt in. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't make such a big deal out of it. You must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. And on that note... Gotta rotate your saves, dog. You gotta take them all. I'm just kind of stunned. I don't care. Alright. Yeah, Alright. Uh, we will pick this up on a different session. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. That was uh, a lot of establishing. I didn't get to where I was hoping to get to. Yeah. But, I was hoping to at least get to the twist today, but. Yeah. Always next but time. We'll do it. On that seems well, like that's all Crash Bandicoot wants. He just wants to get to the twist. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>